Good afternoon, Adrian Small with the Lux Swelling Group at TTR Sotheby's International Realty. Today I have the honor and privilege uh, to have a conversation with Susie Eltman, residential and institutional landscape designer based in Potomac, Maryland. She is originally from Venezuela, where she got her architecture and urban planning degree. Um, she currently heads her own company providing landscape services in the Metro DC area, Florida, and the Caribbean. Today I'm having a conversation with Susie on the importance of hiring a landscape designer. Without further ado, Susie, good afternoon. Hi, Adrian. Nice talking to you. So I wanted today to talk about one of the key things is why hire a landscape designer or landscape design build company? So I would say that if a customer already knows what they want to do, have done in their yard, it's much more efficient to hire a design build company because the process shortens uh, in time and it's just more efficient. But if they don't know what their yard potential is or they don't know exactly what they're doing or they don't know how much thing costs or they don't they don't when they need more guidance that's when they really should go with a landscape designer first so that they are not tied to the selling uh part of it which a design build company is tied to okay and so what is the difference uh, i've always wondered between a full service uh, company and a maintenance landscape company a full service company is um has a wider spectrum of services they create they install they do also maintenance but uh usually the people that are hired to work in a full service uh, landscape company are more skilled are people more educated um, as opposed to just uh maintenance okay, okay? And when choosing a landscape company, is it important for this company to be uh, bonded and insured? Yes, it is. Uh, especially when you're uh, using stone, where you're, when you're building ponds, patios, bridges, uh, walls, retaining walls, um, everything that involves hardscapes. And when you're also building or planting huge trees and you're digging up and you're using heavy machinery equipment, you do need a licensed and insured uh, company. I would say um, it's, it's required. Um, and only if you're just planting very small plants like shrubs and perennials, you can go, you know, with a regular landscaper. As long as you know where the, you know, underground uh, sprinkler system is, you can, you can do uh, just, yeah. you know, the trivial little planting. So what makes you a specialist at what you do? Well, even though I studied architecture, I, that's my formal studies, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, designing buildings. I do have a passion for nature, for plants, for stone, for water, everything that moves and everything that it's, you know, the skies are the ceiling of it. Um, as an architecture student, I um, had the privilege of visiting Japan and getting to see those Japanese gardens really blow me away. I just decided that I was going to finish my formal studies and all my work experience all throughout the years, a little bit of decades ago, have been in landscaping. Wonderful. Wonderful. So please tell us about the services that you provide and do you have access to specialists such as arborists and I'm going to kill this other word, horticulturists. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a certified old portraitist for the state okay. of Maryland and a certified uh, Chesapeake Bay landscape professional. Uh, we do with uh, we deal with sustainable um, using native plants and um, utilizing storm water you know uh, rain water mm. and um, um, it's a new trend um, basically but um, my services comprehend uh, landscape design you know creating the plans and giving the customer all the information they need in order to build that project 
you know, plant lists, construction documentation, details, uh, drawings, spreadsheets with uh, all the amounts of uh, plant, cost estimates, um, everything that it's, um, all the information needed to then bid uh, that project. And then I guide them through the process of choosing the right contractor. Okay, so tell right. me a little bit about the process. What is the process? The process starts with a walk through that um, their new house or their old house, whatever it is. Okay. And uh, getting to know the customer first is very important. The way or the, the way they live, the, the way they perceive their um, uh, yards, um, if they do have time to invest or they, and they have the means to maintain uh, their their future project and uh, if they like being outdoors some people just like to contemplate their landscaping from the windows and that's also something to respect and then there's the second element the physical element you know the lighting the drainage uh, the neighbors the sites uh, everything that is there uh, and then the combination of both things the human uh, element, which is the customer in their side, is going to uh, create a unique solution for them. That's wonderful. And that's when I give them alternatives. That's wonderful. And so can you tell me, uh, I'm going to segue a little bit towards the subject of real estate. Can you talk about the importance of a good landscape when wanting to have the right curb appeal in order to sell a home? I would say it's the best, it's the very first impression of a house is their landscape. If a landscape is well maintained, it's going to give good vibes to the uh, potential customer, potential client. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they're going to feel like things have been taken care of right from the beginning, from the front entrance. And then when they get inside of the house, everything, you know, feels better of course when because it's visual are, yeah when the plants are happy you feel it in the environment when everything is like neat and, and tight and um yeah i totally yeah. agree with you it's it's a good vibe it gives a presence to the home and it also makes whoever's walking on its way to the front door uh definitely a great vibe so I like it, needs to, it needs to feel clean. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to be something very manicured or, okay. you know, annual flowers. It just needs to be clean and fresh. Okay. And, and sober. You know, Sometimes I think less is more. Yes, and healthy. Okay, good. So I, I wanted to talk to you about, um, you know, what can you tell us in these unusual times about the importance of the outdoor spaces for most everybody, not necessarily yeah. clients, most people. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, I think that more than ever, our backyards um, have become a place for relaxation. The concept of staycation is now more relevant than ever. Uh, people are using um, more their backyards uh, to grow produce because everybody no, nobody wants to go to the grocery store these days. And also the front yard. Um, the neighbors, we didn't used to relate to our neighbors. And in the past weeks, we have seen people, you know, on, in the streets, walking, meeting each other, starting to talk to each other. So it's a good opportunity to, you know, have a place like a seating area on your front yard, you know, going back to old school uh, neighborhoods mm -hmm. where streets and houses had a meaning. And front porches. Uh, and you had front yeah. porches and you sat there in the afternoon and maybe had a glass of tea wine, or wine or, absolutely, I totally agree with you. So last but not least, I did want to ask you um, if I am a potential client what questions should I be asking you before I hire you? I would say I would ask for experience and I would ask just have a, um, 
informal conversation um, and see if the landscape designer is like listening to you to what you have to say like I like really listening to them and seeing if what they want to pursue I am able to work with them and I'm able to really give them a good service if I'm not able to do that I will just refer them to somebody else that will give them that service perfect so Susie, I so appreciate your being with us today. Susie Altman, you, everybody. Adrian. I will put her information on the video. And uh, so you have access to her telephone. She is the bestest. I've worked with her for many, many years. And I definitely would recommend her. She has, she has a significant experience. And, uh, and anybody that talks to her or engages her, her services will capitalize from that. Susie, thank you. It was great to see you. Thank you, Adrian, so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Be well. Be well and stay healthy. Thank you. The same to you. Bye.